What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be taking a look at a few different kinds of concrete stains and why you should use one over the other to make your jobs turn out the best they can and stand up to the test of time. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So here at DecoCrete, we get a lot of phone calls and walk-in business from both contractors and DIYers. A really common question is, I got some concrete to stain, what do you guys recommend? Now unfortunately, there is no one-size-fits-all answer to that question, and my approach has always been to ask a few questions back, just so I can understand why they even wanted to stain the concrete in the first place. Are you trying to change the entire color of the slab to cover something up? Are you staining a medallion? Or are you just trying to spice up the look of your stamped concrete? Now other important things to consider would be, is the concrete interior or exterior? How is it finished? And whether it's full thickness concrete or an overlay? The hard part is that there is no single type of stain that's ideal for all of these situations. So we need all this information just to formulate a good plan of attack. Now it all starts with understanding how a slab of concrete works. So that aggregate layer provides structural strength and has really big open pores. While the paste layer on top allows you to create a desirable finish that has tighter pores to protect from water intrusion. But the tighter the pores of the slab are, the harder it'll be to get stuff to stick to it. And this is why we have to grind that finish off before we install epoxy coatings. The more you understand about this, the easier it'll be for you to grasp what type of stain might work better for your specific situation. First up is acid stain, which is a chemically reactive stain and that interacts with the minerals on the surface and literally changes the color of the concrete. Now this means we don't really care about any bond because there isn't any. And this makes it ideal for stamped concrete. Acid stain does have some drawbacks, however. The color options are limited, slow drying, and it will need to be washed and neutralized before sealing. And you also never really seem to get the exact same color from slab to slab. Acid stain might be one of the older technologies in decorative concrete stains, but it's still the longest lasting option available if you're staining any concrete with the surface paste still intact. Now that doesn't mean that it's the only thing you should use, however. Water-based stains do serve a purpose. Well, they're more like a really thin paint that does penetrate the surface a little bit, but still mostly topical if you're applying it to the paste layer. The problem with this is now we're relying on a bond between the stain and the concrete. Putting sealer over it does help the stain from walking off, but the sealer, as the sealer breaks down and starts to wear, it just tends to pull the stain with it, and it's almost like the sealer sticks better to the stain than the stain sticking to the concrete. And when this happens, it ends up looking like measles all over your stamped concrete, and I can tell you from experience that there is no good way of fixing this other than sandblasting everything off and starting over. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to happen every time on every job, but I've personally seen it enough that I would never recommend water-based or any other topical stains on stamped or any exterior concrete. Now, when it comes to vertical concrete or concrete overlays, well, that's a whole different story. Water-based stains seem to stick really good to these products. In fact, I would never even consider using acid stain on vertical concrete. Water-based stains have plenty of colors to choose from, they're easy to use, and they create a more subtle look, which is perfect for vertical concrete. So up next is acetone dye, which can look a lot like acid stain, but it still ends up being primarily topical if we don't have really open pores. Now obviously you're not going to go grind off the surface of your stamped concrete, so this really isn't a good option for that. But if you want to stain a smooth interior floor, man, acetone dye is just my favorite product for this. It has a wide variety of vibrant and subtle colors, and it gives the contractor freedom that they just never had with acid stain. Acetone dye is also quick drying and doesn't require any washing or neutralizing. Just remember, you do have to grind the floor first and this makes it great for interior floors because you already have a good bonding profile for a high performance coating. Now one of the biggest misconceptions is that concrete stains can cover things up like paint would. In reality, stains are translucent and they just tend to enhance discolorations that are already on the surface. Now, unlike any of these stains we just talked about, Revival from DecoCrete is an opaque color coating that completely covers up the existing surface. And it isn't even really a stain at all, but the process is still thought of as staining. It's made to bond directly to unsealed, stamped, or broom finished concrete, and we've seen it solve a lot of problems for contractors and homeowners. 
So other things that get overlooked are the age of the concrete and whether it's sealed or not. Now we never recommend staining concrete that's less than 30 days old and make sure you read the instructions for whatever stain you might be using because some of them actually require fully cured concrete. Now in the case of acid stain, slabs that are over 10 years old might not even react very well with the stain, but this isn't an issue at all with any of those other kinds of stains. Now all these products do have one thing in common however, none of them can go on top of sealer. So this one's pretty easy. Putting concrete stain on sealed concrete is just a guaranteed way of making them fail. Now I know all this can seem a bit confusing, so I wanted to sum it up with four keys to success. Number one, stains aren't paint. They don't cover things up, they enhance what's already there. Number two, no matter what, never put stain on sealed concrete. Number three, always adjust for your situation. Acid stain is great for exterior concrete or if the surface paste can't be removed. Water-based stains for vertical concrete, acetone dye for interior floors, and revival for slabs that need to be completely recolored. Number four is you have to make a choice. And what I mean by this is if you love the look and ease of topical stains on stamped concrete, then you're gonna deal with some failures. If you hate going back to jobs for repairs, then don't use topical stains. You can't have it both way and the choice is yours. Well guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions about staining concrete. If you guys enjoy these videos, please let us know by hitting that like and subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really helps our channel out. So from all of us here at Deco Creek TV, Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.